Hello, my name is Joshua Mutu and welcome to Pixelmic. In our last video, we used multiple sprites to create our tank prefab. Just a quick reminder, the end result of this series will look something like this. Where you can move left and right with animations, you can jump, you can also aim the cannon up and down, as well as shooting the bullets in the direction of the cannon. Also, when the bullets come in contact with the ground, they explode. The animation was created by another member of the team. In today's video, we're going to be creating a C Sharp script which will rotate the wheels on the tank when we move left and right. The difficulty of today's video is the fluffy difficulty, so it won't be that hard to do. The assets we'll be using in today's video will be available to download for free. The link will be in the description below. So to start off, I'm going to go into our scripts folder and create our C Sharp script. So right click, create, and C Sharp script. And I'm going to call this wheels underscore rotate so I'm going to open that up and get rid of all this and the first thing I'm going to create is a public float and I'm going to call it rotate speed speed and that's going to equal 10.0f so next I'm going to access the fixed update function, so void, fixed update, brackets, curly brackets, and so what we want to do is rotate the wheels when we move the character left and right. So I'm going to access the horizontal controls, so, so I'm going to create a float and call it move, and that's going to equal input dot get access brackets quotations and we want to access the horizontal axis so next I'm going to create an if statement which will rotate the wheels uh, when move is less than or greater than zero so if brackets move is less than zero or if move is greater than zero we want to transform dot rotate open brackets and we want to rotate it on the z axis so vector free dot forward and we want to rotate it by minus rotate speed so the reason we want to rotate it by minus rotate speed is because if we go back to Unity and then go into our 3D mode, select one of our wheels, you'll notice that our Z axis is pointing away from the camera, which then means that clockwise is anti clockwise and anti clockwise is clockwise. So I'm going to go back to our script, save our script, so Control S. Go back to Unity, I'm just going to go back into 2D mode. So, and then I'm going to select all our wheels. Select our wheels rotate script and drag it into the inspector. And now you'll see that all our wheels have the script on it. So I'm going to apply that to our tank prefab. And all we've got to do now is test our game. So there we go, our wheels now rotate when we move left and right. So that's all we're doing for today's video. Feel free to tune back next time where we'll be animating our tread. And then using a C Sharp script, we'll be linking that animation to our tank's movement. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D. My name is Joshua Mutu, and thanks for watching. Thank you.